guys and welcome to Steve Knows. Today we're going over speculation that Xbox might be getting virtual reality because of their new partnership. We've got new games coming to the Oculus Quest and we've also got Sonic Virtual Reality. So let's get started. One of my favorite virtual reality titles is coming to the Oculus Quest and to the PlayStation virtual reality platform, and that is Until You Fall from Shell Games, the winner of Upload VR's 2019 Best Visual Award. It's been in early access now for a while, and it's finally going to be leaving that this fall 2020. And along with that release comes the release or the support for the Quest and the PlayStation platform. The game is incredibly addictive. It's a hand-to-hand -hand combat roguelike title where you are given the small quick cues on when an enemy is going to attack you or to throw a heavy attack so you'll need to defend or move out the way accordingly and then strike back. You will fight increasingly difficult enemies that will increase in terms of numbers and the varying abilities that they have so you'll have to learn these creatures and attack their weaknesses. At the end of each stage you will be rewarded with certain crystals that give you certain bonuses. You also get different weapons. This isn't just a play and that's it. There is some customization available in the home hub so you can upgrade and adjust your loadout to suit your playstyle before diving back in. I did do a dedicated video on this game because I just loved it so much. I really adored it and it's going to fit so well on this quest system with its freedom of play and the OLED display because the colors in this game are beautiful. This is definitely a future must play. I'm sure of it. Also, if you've got PC VR and you've not played this yet, it is in the Steam sale. Enjoy. Another game coming to the Oculus Quest now and it just floods me with nostalgia. I've got this as a cassette tape for my ZX Spectrum and that is Bubble Bobble. This was also a game that came out in the 90s for NES and the Super Nintendo as well called Puzzle Bobble I believe. So it is a classic title but they are now bringing this to the modern day with a virtual reality version and by Servios, who brought us games like Creed, Rise to Glory, Battle Wake, The Walking Dead Onslaught, and there are so many more. There's no gameplay of this just yet. This is just word of it coming out as a virtual reality game. And the aim of this game of the classics is you get a random colored ball and you have to connect this and shoot this upwards towards the ceiling with three or more of the same color. And if they all line up, they pop and you get points and you don't want that ceiling coming down and crushing you. Otherwise it's game over. Just think Tetris, but reversed and without blocks. Give this guy a medal or a ring. There is a fan-made Sonic the Hedgehog virtual reality title called Virtuous Sonic coming to the PC VR platform. There is a teaser trailer available where you get to have the perspective of Sonic the Hedgehog running through environments at such high speeds. And in this game, you also have the classic mechanics such as the jump and the thrust towards the enemies. You also have the power roll with the blue energy coming up all around you. This is actually going to be available for you to play at Sage 2020 this year if you are attending that. And this creator is trying to deliver high speed virtual reality gaming with Without the triggers of virtual reality sickness. So we see this in the game mechanics, how he has implemented this. Because what they've said is you feel motion sickness when the user doesn't really expect what's going to happen. But in this game, the way it's been designed, the user is aware, the user triggers all of these intense fast paced movements. So they shouldn't feel motion sickness as intensively as they do in other titles. Such as to roll, like in the classic Sonic, you have to cross your arms. If you want to jump, you have to swing your arms. If you want to thrust, you'll knock your arms backwards really fast. And that kind of gives you that propulsion. Just wow, wow, wow. The demo looks like so much fun and I want to try it. Hopefully it's not long until we actually get this on Steam so we can try it. And by the way, it won't be the actual environments like Green Hill Zone because they can't be included for copyright reasons, but they have heavily inspired Sonic environments. They still look great. So thank you Supersonic68 for creating this game. And guys, please check out his channel, show the appreciation for this game, show your excitement because I am extremely grateful. And Sega, if you're watching, don't sue, hire the guy and make a virtual reality title like this. If you're in need of technological advancements, you can always rely on trust good old Google. A new report has just stated that researchers at Google have enabled 6DOF over the internet. This 6DOF video research has been going on for a few years now. You may have seen some videos a couple years ago where they were using this crazy rig to create 6DOF 360 videos, but 
that wasn't over an internet connection, but they've apparently just nailed it. So 360 videos, they normally leave you just in one spot as you look around, but as you try to take a step forward or a step to the side, the, the video moves along with you and it can take you out of that immersion. So Google have achieved this feat with their rig that has 46 4K cameras running at 30 frames a second and the camera is then placed on this kind of dome to capture every conceivable angle and this enables the user to move their head 70 centimeters in six degrees of freedom. The quality of this is very very low especially for modern headsets but it's definitely a step in the right direction no pun intended. This is the kind of tech that's going to be used for those high definition virtual reality experiences such as buying a ticket for a ball game, going to a concert and being able to actually enjoy and be immersed in the experience without leaving your home. The article goes really really deep into the tech and if you're interested, I'll leave a link down below for you to check out. It starts going on about machine learning algorithms, AI, deep view. And deep view is a machine learning algorithm that can take the data from all of those cameras and create maps of different perspective. So you'd be able to change where you're actually looking and be able to see it as if you were looking from that perspective. That's pretty genius. They also said that this is a light field video and requires 300 megabits per second in order to stream it. And that is not something that we all have access to. That is some high bandwidth. So this probably isn't going to happen anytime soon. So a quick one on the catwalk C, the closest thing that we're going to have in our homes to replicate a virtual reality Oasis treadmill. It's just exploded on Kickstarter with a target of 80,000 pounds, which it hit in a matter of minutes. And now a week later after its reveal, it has over 1 million pounds. That's a lot of treadmills. I'm really, really excited to see what happens in this space. I'm ready to see what this product's gonna be like in terms of compatibility, interoperability, and also the actual quality of the product. Let me know if you've invested in one down below. So time for the speculation. Last week, there was an announcement that Mixer was being shut down, even after the incredible, incredible push that Microsoft did to promote this thing and to get people on it. They really, really pushed for it. They finally said no more and instead are partnering with Facebook Gaming instead. While this partnership has got some people speculating, this is not official, it is speculation, it's a rumor, but this could help with Xbox adopting virtual reality, having a partnership now with Facebook, who obviously own Oculus, one of the biggest players in the virtual reality space. Xbox have had a seriously bumpy road around the VR space. They originally said that they were going to support virtual reality with 90 frames per second on their gaming consoles. This hardware built specifically to lead the console industry into true 4K gaming and high fidelity VR. They then retracted that. Then Phil was throwing shade, saying VR's not big enough. No one's asking for it. And then the VR community, we were screaming because their competitor supports and supports the most successful virtual reality headset. And yet they don't want to invest in it. But now they have a partnership with one of the VR giants. So fingers crossed, Xbox can start asking around, start getting feedback, perhaps get some support from Facebook to support this on their new console. I'm hoping that they should just support the Windows Mixed Reality headset or support the Rift S. That would make life so much easier. No proprietary hardware needed. Just support it with your consoles. And then people who already own that headset may invest in your console as well instead of just, you know, limiting your user base. So that's it from me today, guys. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out any of the latest and greatest virtual reality news. Thanks to my patrons, you absolute legends. Happy gaming, guys. Good day.